Dit programma wordt mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam. Welkom bij Big Talk van het International Film Festival Rotterdam. Een gigantisch publiek is al dagen in de ban van de meest waanzinnige films. In Big Talk spreekt Hans Maarten van der Brink vanavond met regisseur Alice Roorwagger. Zij maakte de film La Meraville over het leven van een imkerfamilie op het Toscaanse platteland. Paese delle meraviglie, sarà qui. Questo per te. Partecipiamo alla selezione al Paese delle meraviglie. Ecco, ci manca questa stronzata. Qui sono anni e anni che non siamo mai più niente. Forse è così se crea un po' di lavoro, viene un po' di turismo. Ma noi ce l'abbiamo, un lavoro bellissimo. Pensi, vuole fare la contadina? Eh, 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 eh. No, eh. Vuoi costruire un muro intorno a lei? Che bella. Meraviglioso, un applauso. And with us we have Giovanni Pacienza, Pacienza mm -hmm. which means patience. Um, Indeed. We will, we will start our conversation in English. Um, and um, if, you, if you're not necessary, because you speak very good English, um, don't feel left out. All it right. means uh, we're doing okay. And they're going to help us. There's two rules, I think. Um, we're not going to do any spoilers, give away the story of the film. We will talk about context. Uh, uh, about how you made tonight's feature. And the other rule, mm, I'm, I'm a bit uncertain about. I think you shouted after getting the Grand Prize in Cannes. It's not autobiographical. Then in the catalogue of the festival, I see uh, this is an autobiogra autobiographical movie. It was a problem of translation. Oh, it's a problem of translation again. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, that'll, be your, that'll be one of our themes tonight. Um, but let's, anyway, start talking about you. You're very young. This is your second feature only, winning this very prestigious prize and being called the, sort of the hope of Italian cinema. Oh, my God. But in, in what way are you an Italian director? in the tradition, the great tradition of Italian cinema? Eh, eh, buonasera. <laughs> buonasera. No, my English is very bad and he was uh, just... I announced <laughs> it as good and you will have help. <laughs> but I think that, uh, and this is also very important about the movie, how we talk, it's not just a, a problem of geography, it's a tell, we can tell our story. So, us, You can listen to me talk English like this. You can understand a lot of things about me. For example, that I didn't study English. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> even in the movie, all the people talk um, languages that tell you uh, why, how they arrived there. And me, I think I'm 100% Italian and 100% uh, stranger. So you're inside and outside at <laughs> the same time. Um, you, but you grew up in Italy. Yes, yes. With but an, w w a German father and <laughs> Italian mother? Yes. I mean, it's, if it's about uh, thinking in a place to go back home and uh, about uh, movies that I love, and, and, and every time people ask me for a movie, always an uh, Italian movie came in my mind. You know? So I think I'm Italian. If it's about uh, war, I'm uh, from the world. <laughs> are, are you saying that if it's about... If, if it's about I'm Italian, then let's fight? No. You're not a nationalist, <laughs> no. but you feel Italian. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, but this being inside and out, isn't that also a, 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 not also a privileged position? If, you, if you're a bit of a stranger, 
You can look better at society, at Italian society. Do you feel that? that it's an advantage? I don't know if it's better. It's just different. And uh, it's like uh, uh, when you are in Italy, all the people think you are strangers. When you are outside Italy, all the people call you the Italian. So you, you will never you, you, find you, you, a you place. Feel com you feel comfortable with that? Uh, uh, now, yes, uh, it's a lot of time, so yes. Did you grow up in the city or on, in, uh, on the, no. the countryside? No, I grew up in the countryside, and uh, my father is a beekeeper, my okay, father is German, <laughs> but... <laughs> but he's not the father in the, in the but movie. But the movie is not autobiographical. It seems... Um, uh, I mean, I have no reason to tell you uh, li uh, lie. No, because <laughs> we're among strangers here, and nobody will tell. So it's... <laughs> Um, it's because uh, this is a very personal story, like this place, the work of the bees, and this kind of people, I know them, but they are not my family. So um, I respect them and I have to tell you that it's not my story. Um, growing up in the countryside, uh, how, how, how <laughs> what leads you to becoming a, 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 a movie director, a film director? And you have a sister who's an actress yes. in movies, yeah. Uh, sometimes uh, I think uh, w uh, growing up uh, without uh, cinema give you a lot of desire of cinema, maybe. Uh, we grow up, uh, it was not possible to see movies, no one in our family have a, a camera or, I don't know, it's not something that is in our story. But uh, maybe this is why we missed it so much that we were running into And the then the f was it right uh, love at first sight? The first time you saw a movie, you thought, I want to be in it? I think uh, I, the first movie I saw was like Jurassic Park or something like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> the influence shows, and you I will see later uh, on. Yeah. And I didn't <laughs> want to be there. <laughs> Never. It, I it's was very scared. Mm -hmm. It's, it's also um, um, a, a theme in, in, the, in your, your two features that, that there's um, a, a girl uh, at a tender age, 11, 12, 13, who feels a bit of a stranger, who's a bit of on the outside uh, um, um, uh, looking in, observing, not completely. Is that something you identify with? Something you, you consciously use to, to steer our gaze? Um, I, I think it's uh, two different movements, no? Mm -hmm. Because in the first movie is someone that... Which was called uh, Corpo Celeste. Arrive uh, from Holy another Holy. country yeah. and uh, go to live in a place mm -hmm. and have to find his place. In this movie, it's someone that won't go out from a place and uh, discover another world. But in both of situation, yes, it's very hybrido family. Mm -hmm. I think uh, when uh, we talk about something that is very puro, pu pure, 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 pure. Uh, start from a point of view very hybrido, hybrid, is uh, better. Like uh, to explain uh, life, we need uh, that, and uh, to explain uh, pure, we need sometimes. Eyebrow. And to look better, we need sometimes the eyes of a stranger, or yeah. somebody who feels strange. May, yes, I think it's very precious eyes, yes. Is it, is it also this, what I call tender age, you know, the age between, y you're not, you're still a child in some ways, and in other ways you're, 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 you're being drawn into or the world of the grown-ups that, that gives a special gaze? Yes, I think uh, this is a special age because uh, you have to know understand who you want to be. And uh, in this moment, uh, it's very fra fragile, no? And so it's like a um, vetro, like uh, a, glass. a glass, because it's very fragile. And so you can look uh, inside uh, the, the world of this mm -hmm. uh, age for me. I uh, worked, I used to work a lot with uh, teenagers as in other contexts, in the theater, and so I was very uh, touched <laughs> by yeah. this age. But th these are not even teenagers, they're, they're a bit... They are a little uh, bit... Uh, under, yeah. Uh, yeah, under. Pre-adolescent, Pre yeah. Um, 
both of these girls um, give um, Marta in Campo Celeste and uh, Gelsomina in, in this movie give a wonderful performance. You, you really love them. How, how do you find them? What are you looking for when you go casting? Uh, we trust each other. What do you mean? Your main character? No, I mean, when, uh, when we work, I think you have always to put people in a situation that they know they can yeah, but no, trust But you. first you have to find them. Ah, what to are find you looking them? for? Uh, what uh, sort it's, of uh, it's not just the face, I guess. No, it's, um, it's a long process, and uh, each one have a place to where, where we go to look. I don't know, for mm -hmm. Martin, we were in the street, in the, in the per le strade, mm -hmm. in the, the streets. streets of Berlin, looking for him. For uh, um, Gelsomina, we were casting all the school, and of course we didn't find her in the school because she was not a school. She was <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's we, a sort we of found an, an her outlaw in the street. character. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so it's a long research. We but never what, what know. What was the first thing that touched you about her? I mean, it's we just know. I say we because I never work alone. Mm -hmm. When you made this is the important things about the movie because now I'm here talking with you, but there are a lot of people behind. Mm -hmm. Uh, helping and working for it. And for example, in this case with the casting uh, director, it's a, a young uh, girl, and we didn't know what we were looking for, but we knew we uh, recognized her. And once in you fact, once you saw her. I think yeah. that all the people are in the movie, they are the last people we cast for each role. I don't know if you understand. Like so when you were we met working, them, working on deadline. Or when or we met them, we stop uh, searching. Looking, searching. It every was time. like a revelation. Okay, this is it. Yeah. When y and uh, yes. And and then how do you go on? Because children are very difficult. Are of course always amateurs. Yeah. They're not professional <laughs> actors. Uh, does that mean you can give them a lot of improvisation, or do you have to be very strict with them? Uh, so, we, I would love to tell you a lot of secrets, like we <laughs> boiled eggs and uh, we give them, I don't know, mm. very strange things, because normally the sort people of don't always try this ask at home, you uh, uh, if yeah. you have some secret. Yeah. Or our secret is just rehearsal. Rehearsal. Mm. Doing it again and again and again. So, we make a lot of rehearsal and we spend a lot of time together and... Uh, and nothing is improvisation, but uh, it's like we built a world, and then when uh, the this neck, ne la rete, no? ne net. net, is very solid, they are free to jump, but inside a net. Mm -hmm. With quite tight mazes. Like uh, in the circus. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So if they fall, yeah, it's a soft there is landing. A net. Yeah. It is, is it, it, it very tight, tightly scripted, your film? Yes. It, it's not like halfway you change and improvise. No, no. no? You're strict in that, okay. <laughs> Children are difficult, but animals are even more difficult, uh, directors. Uh, but children seem to agree with on. animals are the uh, best. That's sort of. Uh, <laughs> are the best or the worst? I think uh, when, uh, normally when you have something difficult, you put something more difficult inside so you don't look the other difficulties. Oh, but now you've told us a <laughs> secret uh, that we can all work with in, in yes. daily life. Yeah. For example, uh, the, um, we, had, uh, all, we had so many problems, practical problems, that we forgot about all the others. Mm, if you have problems, you just create more. Like, find the little one. Because the little one was always um, hidden. So this one of the, the actors was always yeah. hiding. Mm. So this was the big problem of the day. So every day we could, uh, you know, work very good because the only problem was to find her. Okay, yeah, <laughs> good. But maybe somebody else gave her the instruction to hide so that you would could do your work better. Um, you've already um, uh, told the people there are bees in, uh, in, in, in the film, tens of thousands of bees. Yes. I, I, I felt a bit <laughs> uncomfortable at times, but you grew up uh, amid bees. Yes. What was so difficult in, in, in making the film with the bees? Uh, 
There was something about insurance, and I thought, well, <laughs> hey, if you lose a few, what's the problem? I don't know, because now I'm telling uh, this story too much, and maybe the next movie they will not... Uh, Finance it. Uh, finance it. Because, because what, what is the problem here? I, I didn't get that. No, because when you make a movie, you, of course, you get money, but people give you money if you have an insurance. And uh, bees are in a categor category, a category, category of animals that uh, is not possible to have an insurance with bees. So you can get an insurance for a dog or a cat? With a lion, a lion? with uh, ev everything. But bees? Bees, no, because, in fact, bees are very strange animal because you can't, like, react if they get nervous. You can't, like, kill all them in one moment, no? With a well, lion, you can... it's difficult with a lion also. <laughs> but, but maybe there is I someone. <laughs> and uh, so they told us, no way, no bees, uh, like, uh, two weeks before the shooting. And we already did a lot there of rehearsal. There goes your script, and, yeah. uh, and someone says, why you don't make cheese and not honey in the movie? I say, <laughs> it's a month that we are re rehearsing this. Yeah. And the people know some good piece. And so... Uh, and the honey is very important. It's honey is very see. important yeah. and it's yeah. a big uh, thing for the movie. Yeah. So as uh, we... There is one day in Italy when all the people are in vacation. That is 15 August. So we decided to convocate a lot of friends this day, and we were sure that people that made control for insurance were... Uh, celebrating. Uh, yeah, celebrating. Yeah. And, uh, and we shoot all the scene of the bees with another crew. And uh, every, like the actors was supposed to be there but by accident. And everyone signed a paper like, if I die, don't worry, it's my choice. <laughs> And, um, but uh, we did. <laughs> so you sh shot all the scenes with the bees in one day? Yes. Oh, well, great. You will enjoy that, now that especially now that you know this. Um, uh, Not the scene with a single bee. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, if, if I look at the, the film as a whole and also at your first movie, you, you all in all, you paint um, not a very picturesque picture of Italy. Um, it's even a, a, a bit bleak, even in the supposedly beautiful countryside. It, it, let's say it's more Gomorra than La Dolce Vita. Um, is, is that how you view Italy, or do you see the, the beauty in the bit bleak surroundings? I mean, I grew up in a place um, where you can see, because it's a volcanic place, mm -hmm. no? and so you walk in the street and you can see all the levels of all the uh, eruption mm. uh, in the age. Mm -hmm. And so you know that you are working just in a little part of some, a lot of age. Yeah. This is like in one image, you know, yeah. that you are just working in something very little that is on the top of other stuff. And uh, we, in Italy, we have this past, no? You, you too, but... Uh, uh, by us, it's very strong. The mixture between uh, the ancient uh, Romans mm -hmm. and the Etruscan, in this mm -hmm. case, and the 70s <laughs> and the Middle Age and the 90s, everything is together. And it's a bit chaotic. It's a bit very chaotic, but I think this is the beauty for me of my country. The possibility to have in one image all the time. And when they make, uh, of course, when they try to attract tourists, they try to choose just one uh, level of the time and say, Let, come to Italy, it's like the Middle Age. Uh, but it's, it seems in, in your film, almost, and um, that's not giving away too much, don't worry, uh, that that role is also played for the Italians by television. Yes, of Once course. Television there is a, a television show in the film and all they do is say, well, everything is wonderful here and picturesque. And is that the opposition television cinema for you? Cinema shows you how it is and television is just glitz and fake? Um, I think it's not uh, just about television and cinema. It's about uh, television need to go very fast. And uh, cinema can take uh, its time and can have silence in it. And I think you need, uh, it's not just about cinema and television, it's about silence and it's about time. So we have to preserve things 
that give us time and silence. And uh, of course, uh, what uh, it, what is the the, the first uh, desire to make this movie was a lot about uh, how people look at Italy from outside. Mm -hmm. How people, when I tell I'm Italian, and people say, ah, so beautiful. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's like, ah, you live like in the prehistoria. And <laughs> I mean. And, and this is what the television crew yeah. does in your film say, oh, you're really all Etruscans. Well, they yeah. people don't and probably even <laughs> know what Etruscans are. Nobody knows, actually. Nobody knows. No. This is why it's very simple yeah. to say then. But uh, so I imagine uh, the possibility of a show that try to look uh, for the most typical person in, in the area. And the question is, what is typical? For example, this family that is not from there, it's not typical, but is not this true? Right. So, so it's also a play uh, with authenticity, and yeah. what is it? Uh, what is real, what's not? Last question, um, 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 uh, uh, maybe a bit difficult. <laughs> I, I guess you have to love all the characters in your film because they're your family when you make it and, 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 I mean, dedicate so much time. But it was, uh, um, and, and, and that's very, um, um, very well possible for the children and, and, um, and the women in your film and even for the bees if you uh, get used to them. But the men are horrible. Uh, depend on the point of view. What's your point of view? <laughs> I love them too. Is that true? Um, I, I don't think that... Um, no, I think uh, the only uh, character that is uh, very close to me is the only man of the family. You've been very autobiographical <laughs> now. Thank you very much, Alicia. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and you, Giovanni. De film die we vannacht draaien komt uit Thailand. Mundane History won een tiger in 2009. Hij gaat over een rijke, verlamde jonge man en de relatie met zijn verpleger in het noorden van Thailand. Dit programma werd mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam.